once was a nearest showdown card If they win versus Roma, Nick's gonna get hard His stats are juiced, he's nay with strength And the SBC is cheap Oh, when the nearest man comes He's gonna techno dribble, your defender is buns Oh, when the nearest man comes He doesn't even need to get the upgrade What am I seeing? Testing, testing, one, two, three Is this for real? Is this actually a real card? Bulls Lightning Boys, and welcome to the David Nerez Campos UEL Showdown card that has come out today alongside a Showdown uh, showdown Ed and Jekyll, a very saucy looking card in his own right, but today I thought we would take a look at the man of the hour, and that is none other than David Nerez, aka the Tesco Neymar, aka the cheap Neymar, aka the Brazilian Neymar. Goes ahead and gets himself a massive, massively jacked off upgrade over his base card. Has a five star skill move, four star weak foot, medium, medium left foot. Looks like an absolutely ridiculous, ridiculous looking card and the most important thing and the coolest part of this entire SPC is that he's not too expensive at all if you compare him to the 92 inform Neymar and you know there is a chance that they go through they're currently 2-1 uh, two one down versus Roma so they do need to score two goals uh, they're gonna have to do it away at Roma uh, which is gonna be tough but if you take a look at the match stats and if you take a look at the match um, IX were actually very very good I think they actually doubled these shots on target of Roma so I think IX are gonna come out guns blazing and uh, there is a chance that we could possibly see this David Nerez go up to a 90 rated card. He's going to get the plus two upgrade. Um, it's possible that it could be a draw. Romo would still go through in the event of a draw, but... Um could possibly see him go up to an 89. Even if he doesn't get upgraded at all, this is still a ridiculous card, and I I go so far as to say, really good value for coins. 150,000 coins on aggregate between the two consoles for a card that is very, very similar and very reminiscent of the 92 Neymar. So that is what we're going to take a look at today, whether or not this might be someone that is worth doing for you guys. If you guys do enjoy the episode, yeah, smash like on the video. Smash like on the video for the David Nerez uh, SBC. Smash like on the video if you guys think that it's good value. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below so what do you get you get yourself 96 acceleration 96 sprint speed with the marksman chem style goes up to 98 finishing with 92 shot power long shots goes up to 90 with the marksman already has 91 attack and positioning has decent enough passing stats love the 94 vision love the 91 short passing 80 long passing is passable do not even. curve is 82 and then we get to the dribbling stats the 97 agility on the base card the fact that it goes up to 99 ball control the fact that he goes up to 99 dribbling has 84 reactions goes up to 89 and then the thing that differentiates a david nerez from um, Neymar obviously Neymar has his own body type and his own animations but this is the Neymar with strength David Nerez is what that 92 Neymar would be if he went to the gym and lifted a few weights so goes up to 86 strength with the marksman chem style has the outside the foot shot and the flare trait and like I alluded to before the air DVT squad and this isn't even half of it there's some milestone cards that you could play defensively but we've got Robin we've got the upgraded Leroy Fair we've got the Graven Birch who probably we can upgrade to maybe a Coop Miners or something else um, we've got ourselves that Boadu we've got ourselves the Anthony who's gone up a little bit because of this SPC as well. I'm going to have Nerez. We're going to have Boadu up top. He's got the weak foot, so you don't need to worry about him. This is a really good card. 88 agility, 95 strength with the finesse shot trait. Roma, 5-star weak foot, 6-4, and gets the link into Hendrik Mkhitaryan as well as the El Sharawi. So a very, 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 very good looking card. Shout out El Bozinski Diamant. Match number one with the Tesco Neymar. You're right, Neymar. Yeah, it's on your net. No. Vamos. Do not even. Cue the Brazilian Samba music. Love that. I'm a skiller now, boys. Man just does skill. You're right, Neymar. Yeah, it's on your net. No. Man's got the nay diving trade as well. Red nay on the RTG. Yeah, this guy's this guy's giving me a lot of trouble breaking through the defense. I'm gonna have to get super skillful on the lad. Um, I do have the 92. Jeez. Do not even. For the love of God, referee, call that. Why the hell do I look like a freaking tomato, dude? I have the red Neymar on my RTG account, so I've played over, I think I've played over 200, probably 200 games a week in League with the card, so I'm, I, I feel like I am uniquely qualified to speak on the card. Left and long stick dribbling is something I really like pay, paying attention to. He's got the blue boots. He can do that skill move. He can do that. You're right, Neymar. Yeah, it's on your net. No. <sighs> Sven Bender, go on, lad. All right, refs are turned off. Love that. Can he bang goals? And he can. Oh! Does he have a special, uh, does he have a, a special celebration? He's got the orange hair. He's got the ginger hair, boys. Let's freaking go, dude. The Brazil kit. Hey, let's go, bro. Here we go. Anthony's half a mil doesn't have five-star skill moves. Saucy. 
He's saucy. The man is just absolutely sauced out of his mind. David Norez, 150k. Again, compare him to even without the upgrade. Even as an 88 rated card, he's nuts. And there's a chance, and, and I think there's a... I don't want to say a better than not chance. You guys know that I'm a... That my, my team in Serie A is Roma. You, you never really know what's going to happen with Roma, right? Like, it is at the Roma Stadium, so they have the home field advantage. But, you know, in this day and age, with no fans in the crowd, is there such thing as a home field advantage? Like, yes, Ajax have to travel there. But, um... It wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if Ajax did a madness, dude. I wouldn't be surprised if Ajax even did something like maybe a 2-0. And then uh, this card obviously would get the pl uh, plus 2 upgrade and go up to a 90 rated card. But as of right now, he doesn't even need the upgrade. The 88 Neres doesn't even need the upgrade. He's still absolutely saucy. Can he do techno dribbling? Yes, he can. So how we got around him with the techno dribbling? Hi, I'm Jesse Lingard. And I'm Marco Chostrud. Yeah. Another body paint. Heel flick. Gone. Body paint. Body paint this way. That, nah, I'm not having that. I'm in here. That's all we He's mad. He's got the same thing. Uh, he's got, what, what was it? The strength dribbling? Who was it the other day that we used that had the strength dribbling? There was a crazy card that we used the other day that had ridiculous, ridiculous strength dribbling. You know, it was Kondogbia. Kondogbia's got crazy, crazy strength dribbling. But no, the guy I'm thinking about, I think, was a winger. No, not Lingo, Lingo, uh, Lingo. You're right, Neymar, yes. Lingo Dino has, I think, like 65 strength. He doesn't have crazy strength. <laughs> Lars Bender literally just human centipede saved that, dude. Stagger that an international player can just get done like this. Did he just make him? <laughs> This game, this, this game is sometimes this, sometimes this game literally just makes me question life. See, that was a little bit of micro dribbling. That was a little bit of techno dribbling right there. Ready? BVD. See the see the quick see the quick twitch fibers in his. You're right, Neymar. Yeah, it's on your neck. It's just too much sauce. So, sometimes a card comes along. Sometimes a card comes along in FIFA that's just got too much sauce. He's got the blue boots. He's got the ginger hair. He's got the cap gun tom hair. Sometimes there. Are, sometimes a card just comes along in Ultimate Team that just has a little bit too much sauce. Look at the dynamic pick. Do not even. That's a pen. It's a penalty. Dude, Dave Norez has the most ridiculous. Oh, that's a that's a red card. He's out of here, boys. He gets the second red. All right, here we go. Uh, Dave Norez got 86 pens. We're gonna go this way. School of pens. We're gonna go right up the middle. Oh my God, I don't get it. I just got a red card now, boys. Yeah, he's done so. Saw the techno dribbling. That's another pen. This guy's out of here. This guy is out of here. There's no way he thinks I'm staying in the middle again. It, hold on. There's no way he thinks I'm staying in the middle again. Gonna switch over. And then this time. We're gonna bang it. Let's go, boys. Come on. Is that the David Norez Hattie? Boys, he's got the only option you have. He's so strong that the only option that a defender would have is to take him out. I, I think that's it. I think this guy's out of here. Cheeky chip. The absolute cheek on the lad. 4-2 David Norez.
He is the Tesco Neymar. For 150,000 coins, he's... I, I don't want to say he's exceeding expectations. I always allude to it. When you look at a certain set of stats on a player, the five-star skill moves, the four-star weak foot, the, the dribbling... You know, you do this long enough, you have an idea of how a player is going to interact with uh, defenders and, and and then just the game in general. There's no there's no shock here. There's uh, there's absolutely no surprise um, in terms of what this uh, David Nerez has been able to do on the pitch. You can't get the ball off my Nerez if you try. Look at him. Look at him, dude. That's just literally left hand log stick dribbling, just going around his defenders. And there you have it, boys. Match number two. David Nerez gets himself a perfect 10 rating, gets himself four goals, an incredible little performance. An incredible little performance from the lad. Uh, David Nerez, let's see. Uh, again, I, I forget what the rest of these goals were, but I mean, like, look at this. I mean, this, this, is, this is just what you would expect from a David Nerez card, right? Blue boots, cutting through, uh, cutting through Virgil van Dyke. Just a little bit of that strength, right? Some of that 86 strength. Um, you would expect this, yeah, obviously his left foot is his strong foot, but look at the shot. All Ederson can do is look at the ball. David Nerez here, a little bit of strength, a uh, little bit of strength bodying up, and then here's a little scoop turn, and then a finish. Easy as she does it, left footed, so that's easy, uh, just a super, super simple finish as well here. And then here's a, uh, cheeky pen, nothing too fancy, just slots it, uh, slots it into the left. And then this right here is, uh, is peak David Nerez, right? So that's, I believe, is that Boadu? That is my Boadu, and that's David Nerez using his 96 acceleration, 96 sprint speed, which you don't need to jack off with anything, and then a cheeky little Brazilian chip. 150,000 coins for a card that very favorably represents and links up quite nicely uh, and compares quite nicely with the 92 inform uh, Neymarcito. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this 5 out of 5 in terms of value. There's a chance that he gets upgraded. I go so far as to say a better than not chance. I think Ajax can win more than two goals, uh, but uh, it's just going to make this week all the more fun being um, uh, turning a lot of people into Ajax supporters because obviously we want this to go up to a 90 uh, 90 rated card probably going to see his uh, pace go up to 98 98 maybe 99 99 so five out of five in terms of value and i'm going to give it a four and a half out of five in terms of on the pitch performance the only thing that i could knock this card for is possibly not having five star weak foot but he's got the outside the foot shot trait and he's got ridiculous finishing stats as well uh so for that matter i would definitely give it a thumbs up the only card that would that i would say you would may that would it would maybe give you some pause in terms of uh, getting this SBC done is if you did that Felipe Anderson SBC. If you have the Felipe Anderson again, weaker league, not as crazy, uh, not as crazy of a card. Obviously, doesn't have the five star skill moves if that's something that you're interested in. And also, the Felipe Anderson 88 only has 79 finishing different kind of card has better dribbling stats and then also has long shots uh and has a decent bit of shot power so if you did the Philippe anderson i don't think this is a must do sbc but who are we kidding at this stage in the game 150,000 coins is not too crazy do a couple objectives cards buy some players off the market and you can you can get it done for super super cheap so uh i would say if you missed out on that Philippe anderson this might be the left wing brazilian that you get into your squad and is uh it's just a hell of a lot of fun to use but that's gonna do it for the episode here boys if you guys have enjoyed smash like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below uh uh, gonna be streaming on Twitch later tonight. If you guys want to tune in, link will be in the description below. Uh, but like I said, boys, really, really fun card. The Tesco Neymar 100% lived up to expectation and uh, would recommend doing him if you're looking for a very, very dynamic card to get into your Brazilian squad or if you have a cheeky air to squad and you want to hybridize. So that's gonna do it for the episode, you boys. I'll catch you guys for another one tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.